Just really in high school, you know, that was my favorite spot, punt return. So now that I have a chance to like take over that position, um, it means a lot to me. And you know, I'm gonna try to hold it down and uh, probably take some to the house this year. So God bless me with that, and then I'm gonna take full advantage of it. Any specific goals you guys have got uh, personal? You know, the, we, everybody knows the team goals are on the walls all over the place. But as like a receiver core? Effort, as a receiving core, as for yourself, personal goals for the season? Uh, as a receiver core, you know, just stay consistent this year. You know, last year I feel like um, we kind of like were like a roller coaster. And, you know, this year just stay consistent, stay on top, win all, the, finish all the plays. You know, that's what Coach Scott emphasizes, finish everything, catch every ball that comes our way. So, you know, we just need to stay consistent, I feel like. Watching you the other day during the returns, there was no, no dancing, no juking. You were one cut kind of a guy. Has that always been your style, and you think that works best for you? Yeah, first in high school, it wasn't me. I used to be a side to side guy, but then um, I asked um, a former guy that played with my dad at USC, Nelson Aguilar. He used to. Uh, yeah, return punts yeah, yeah. and um, I was with him over spring break and I was like yo bro I saw you take a lot of kickoff his turns and punt returns to the house what do you do he's just like see it and hit it like catch the ball and get north because north, um, east and west does not work for you so that's one thing that I put in my head is that when I catch it I see a little slight hole I'm gonna hit it and just go with it. Is that an easy transition to make for somebody that's always tried to go side to side to make something happen? Uh, no, nah, no. Nah. High school is way easier. Came out here, it's all four and five stars. So they they catch you as soon as you turn, run that way. So it took me a minute to see see what I see and then get north. But you know, I got it now. I feel like I got it now. Talk about guy, another guy that wore number three ahead of you, Octavius Scott. Mm -hmm. He had a reputation of being a little hard nosed guy. Get the ball. He get that extra yard or two yeah. after, after contact. And uh, we've seen that in you as, as well last year. A couple of times. Is that something that you uh, attribute to your game? You walk into the game. Oh, uh, yeah, because, you know, me, I'm a bigger guy, uh, like over 200 pounds, so I, I use that weight. So when I catch the ball, I'm trying to get north, get through guys, get every yard that I can. Okay. How's the screen game come to you this year? Screen? Like, yeah, because last year, I mean, it was your first year here, and it wasn't as prolific as it has been in the past. How do you feel it's coming along this Offseason. I think it's doing good. Uh, we really just put our first screenplay in for the two man like this past week. So uh, I got one in the scrimmage and I got like five yards from it. But this year, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to do better and follow my blockers. Last year, I thought I tried to make my own plays and I follow my blockers. So this year, I'm going to be uh, disciplined and follow my blockers and stuff so like that. So it's a group thing too. I mean, you work on that individually, but it has mm -hmm. to come out as a group and get yeah, yeah. Off, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. As an offensive line, you know, coaches emphasize the offensive linemen getting out faster. And it's just, it's a team thing, honestly. We all got to be in the same synchronized way going with the linemen out and then the uh, receivers blocking too. So I think we're all working on it and we're improving on that. Thanks, Mari. Yeah, appreciate it. You're a guy that came in here. And, uh, people, they want to talk about the other these uh, stars and other guys and stuff mm -hmm. like that. You kind of flew under the radar and had such a productive year. Again, a little under the radar. Do you yeah. like it that way? And do you think, hey, I'm going to make people take notice of me? I mean, yeah, I like it that way. I like being kind of overlooked. You know, I don't want to be put on this pedestal and, you know, people look at me a certain way. You know, I'm just as normal as the rest of my teammates and I like being like that. You know, I don't want to be put above anybody else. So I'm just going to keep grinding and uh, hopefully God bless me with great performance on the field. How much are you weighing right now? Uh, 207. It's pretty late for you. It's, yes, sir. It's a height, right? Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna try to get down to 205. Just you know, the smaller, the quicker I can be. But you know, I still want to stay a little bigger so I can uh, break tackles and stuff like that. Which position have you been playing the most? Uh, two man. That's strictly what I've been playing on yeah. screen. Wait, why do you think the two man is perfect for your skill set? Uh, I think like speed with like the speed motion, uh, jet sweeps and stuff like that, screens, and then on the outside we got a lot, a lot more space, so we're quicker and stuff, so we can get off releases and stuff like that. So I feel like that's that fits my skill skill set. So last year the two man, red red right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your skill set's a little bit different than him. He's yeah. kind of more of a speed guy. I would imagine on that speed sweep you're not going to be afraid to lower your head. And yeah. Run somebody over, yeah, because right? I play high. I play high school. I play running back in high school. Yeah. So I'm used to running through the tackles and stuff. So if a guy comes up and try to tackle me, I'm not running around. I'm gonna try to go through him. So that's just my DNA. What about the downfield part of the game? Do you feel like you can add something there too? Uh, yeah. Uh, this this spring I've been emphasizing trying to finish a lot of downfield passes because you know at first I wasn't finishing as many. And, uh, you know, over spring break, I, I asked people for advice and stuff like that, how I could finish, like leaning back, stacking and stuff like that. So, you know, I've been trying to practice that and stuff. And I think I'm improving a little bit, but I still think I need to uh, top the notch a little bit more. What is one guy that you've learned the most from since you've been here? Hunter Renfro. Hunter Renfro, because, you know, he, he's teaching me, like, how to stay focused 
and you know how to be a route guy because you know a lot of people try to be finesse guys and stuff like that look pretty but it's not about that it's about like being fundamentally sound and uh, just getting in the route, getting in and out of breaks and stuff like that. So just asking him a lot of advice because he's been through it, you know, two national championship games. So you got to believe what he says. So, you know, I just asked Hunter Renfro for as much advice as I can get before he gets out of here.